Among the ocean's most fascinating and deceptive creatures is the pufferfish, a small, unassuming fish with a deadly secret. With its round body and wide, startled eyes, it appears harmless, even cute. But beneath its innocent appearance lies one of nature's most powerful toxins, tetrodotoxin, a neurotoxin so potent that even a small amount can kill a human within minutes. This poison is more than 1,000 times deadlier than cyanide, and there is no known antidote. Ironically, despite its deadly potential, the pufferfish has become one of the most sought-after delicacies in the world, especially in Japan, where it is famously known as fugu. Too many, eating fugu is a test of both courage and trust. The preparation of this dish is considered an art form, one that requires years of training and government certification. Chefs who wish to serve fugu must obtain a special license, granted only after they have mastered the delicate process of removing the toxic organs, including the liver, ovaries, eyes, and skin, without contaminating the edible flesh. Even the slightest mistake can turn a gourmet meal into a lethal experience. Before Japan introduced its strict licensing system, the nation recorded dozens of deaths each year caused by improperly prepared fugu. These tragedies gave the dish a mix of fear and fascination, earning it a near-mythical status in Japanese cuisine. Today, fatalities have dropped dramatically, with only a few isolated incidents each year, usually involving amateur fishermen who catch an attempt to prepare the fish themselves at home. The pufferfish's defensive mechanism in nature is just as intriguing. When threatened, it inflates its elastic body with water or air transforming from a small fish into a spiky floating sphere too large for predators to swallow. This unique survival strategy, combined with its deadly toxicity, makes the pufferfish one of the ocean's most extraordinary survivors. In the end, the story of the pufferfish is one of contrast between beauty and danger, delicacy and death. It stands as a reminder that even the most charming creatures of the sea can conceal unimaginable peril and that in humanity's eternal quest for experience, curiosity sometimes swims dangerously close to the edge of survival.